Okay, so we're going to have a look at a fundamental point within the elliptic curve cryptography, and that's point adding. So I won't go into the detail of how we uh, add two different points, because in most cases in elliptic curve cryptography, we add the same point to give a new point. So that's what an elliptic curve uh, kind of looks like. Uh, the equation that we have uh, looks a bit like this. y squared is equal to x cubed plus ax plus b. Okay, so we also have a mod of a prime number, p. So what we do is that uh, we take a point on the elliptic curve. Let's say it's this point here, point P, big P, and then we add uh, uh, the, the point, this point together to get another point on the elliptic curve. We will always get, uh, if we add any point to another point on the elliptic curve, we always get another point on the curve. So in this case, we add p plus p and get uh, 2p there. And normally what we do is that uh, we have a private key, which is n, and we add p n times to get our public key. So that becomes this point here, okay, which is p plus p plus p and so on, n times. And the good thing about this is that uh, we cannot find out what was the point or what were the points that actually made this point here when we're using uh, elliptic curve. So often what we have is a generator point uh, on the curve, that's an xy point, and we multiply, we add it n times to give our public key uh, here. Okay, so that's how it, uh, that's, that's the mechanics uh, of it. So an example of an elliptic curve to show some of the parameters that we have in here. This is the one that's used in uh, Bitcoin. And what we have is an A and a B value. We have our prime number and we have our base point. So in this case, uh, that's the basic definition of the, 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 the curve. And this value here gives us the number of points that we can have on the, on the curve. So uh, this becomes what's called a finite field, and the finite field is constrained by this prime number uh, here. Okay, so what does it actually look like when we add in our mod of a prime number? Well, we don't get the nice curve that we had before. Uh, when we take, say, mod 37 here, when we do our calculation, uh, taking an x value, and we do this calculation here with mod 37, we end up with a value of 16. So that value is that value uh, in there. There is no value for one, there's no value for two, and the first one we come across is at three here. And the reason for that is that when we put in uh, a, a one into here, that would be one plus eight, 37, mod 37 is, uh, y squared is equal to uh, 1, 8, mod 37, and we can't find the value of y that would allow us to be able to get an 8 if we take mod 37. So only at certain x values do we see uh, a valid y value because the y squared mod 37 in this case doesn't actually exist. Okay, so that's uh, that's how it actually uh, looks. So what we have is that, uh, so we have a point P, and what we want to do is to find P, 
plus p or 2p then. And the way that we do this is that we have a simple calculation. So the calculation, if we're saying that this is uh, x2, y2, then we first calculate uh, an s value. In modular uh, arithmetic, we take the inverse mod of 2y uh, with respect to the prime number. Okay, I'll show you that in a, in a little minute. Uh, but we don't normally do divides in the normal mathematical way. Uh, we find the inverse of that uh, 2y value and then multiply it to this value here. Everything is done with the mod of p. We can then calculate the x value here and then the y value, which is uh, equal to, the, to this uh, here. Okay, so there's the there's the equations that we have. So in this example, I'll put in an x value, and then we'll find the point on the elliptic curve that we have our y value. So here we put in the x value, and then we can try and find the y squared mod p value, which will put us onto the curve. If it doesn't exist then uh, the, the calculation won't, uh, won't work. Okay, so we first fire in this for the s value. There's the x2 value, and there's the y2. So all of the time we can do it with respect to uh, mod p. To get our divide, we do an inverse mod of y2 with respect to p. And then we can use a multiplier and in there, and that all works. Because remember, we're using integers here, and there's no such thing as real numbers. Okay, that's going to print the values out, and we'll see what we get. In the end, we've got to see that we still have a point on the elliptic curve when we calculate x2, y2. So then we do a quick calculation again with the new values that we've uh, generated just to see that uh, we have a valid point on the curve so that when we do x cubed plus ax plus b mod p is the same as y squared mod p. That allows us to determine if it's actually on, on the curve. So we'll have a quick look to see what that looks like. Okay, so if you remember, let's see if we can Go back, uh, so we'll try a point 3 on this curve. So it's, uh, it's x cubed plus 7 mod 37. And we can see here is the, the point here. We'll try 4, 5, 6. And we should get to a point that there isn't. So there we go. So the Point 0.7 doesn't exist on this uh, elliptic curve. And I also think the 8 doesn't exist there. Oh, no, 8 exists. 9 and 10. 10 definitely doesn't exist. So try that. OK, so we can't find a y squared mod p uh, to fit in with that. OK, so the code that we're using is this. Uh, so I've only shown you the bit at the bottom here, but uh, we also need an inverse mod. That's that little bit of code in there. And then what we need is a modular, modular square root. Okay, so that's where we find the y value. Uh, y squared mod p is equal to a certain value, and that, that will give us that, that result there. Okay, and obviously when we're doing our elliptic curve methods, we will do this many times. Uh, sometimes we double, double, double uh, up uh, to very quickly get a, a large number. So double takes us two, double it again takes us four, double it again eight, 16, 32. doesn't take us too long to be able to, to get to very high uh, numbers. And then what we can do is just use an, an add uh, after that. 
Okay, so that uh, that's given you an introduction to elliptic curve point adding.